Hello, Cancer, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your recent past, current energy, and your immediate future um, for mid to end of March 2023. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy and clarified those cards. I have the um, overall energy for the reading already pulled, as well as the decks already shuffled that we'll be diving into and in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. I can tell you right off the bat, this is going to be more of a financially geared reading because this is about something you're trying to manifest. And I really feel like it has to do with money um, just based on, well, you have effluence here. But anyway, in your recent past, you have guides with the magician. You, So you are, you're trying to manifest something and you have been receiving guidance on this too um, from your intuition, from, you know, messages from the universe. And I feel like you are now needing to take action towards something so that this opportunity can come to fruition because then your overall energy, I mean, we'll get to the middle part in a second, but your overall energy is take inspired action with assess the situation. So it's almost like you've been like overthinking the situation for so long and now it's time to like take action towards something because in your current energy, you have affluence with this ace of wands. So starting like, like even if it's just one step in that direction, like there's just this need because you know, when I, when I see effluence to me, like this card doesn't need to necessarily mean like, oh, you're going to be super wealthy or you're trying to create a bunch of wealth for yourself. It can really mean like financial freedom, right? Um, and financial freedom essentially is having the money that you want and need for the things that you want and need. Now with this ace of wands here, I feel like it's almost like, like you've been maybe planning for so long and now it's time to like, I don't know, like take a step in that direction because in your immediate future, you have lucky with the page of pentacles. Have you ever heard of that saying? Like, it's funny how the harder that you work, the luckier you get. Um, I don't, I'm not one to believe in the grind. I used to, I don't as much anymore. But what I'm getting at with this is that we create our own luck and we create our own luck by taking divine inspired action. And I feel like that's what's going to ultimately create this opportunity. It's not going to just fall in your lap. And I feel like you're waiting for um, something to happen where it's like, oh, it appears on your doorstep, but there's like, there's something you're needing to do. It's like, you're needing to take action toward this. But let's start cancer by looking at your recent past. You have guides with a magician because you've been, you've, I feel like you've been guided to something for a while now, but let's see. Recent past for Cancer, clarifying guides with the Magician. Recent past for Cancer, clarifying guides with the Magician. So you don't have hope for it. Because I feel like in your mind, you just see, like you look at whatever it is that you're wanting to create or manifest, and you just see a bunch of obstacles, a bunch of things you're going to need to do or overcome or... Um, money is going to be an issue or something like that. And it just feels like it's like, because there's the artist here. This is one of two additional major arcanas in this deck. And this is talking about how you co-create your life with the universe, how you start from creating it above. Um, and then it kind of seeps down to below, you know, what we focus on, we attract all of that fun stuff. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that this really is like, it's like you don't have hope for it because all you're focused on is, all of the problems that could arise or like all of the ways like it could go wrong or like all of the time and energy it's going to take like your focus is on how it's a burden instead of an opportunity and that within itself is keeping you from um from taking the steps that you're needing to take now we have to you know think about all that stuff so that we eventually overcome it so it's not that you've been doing anything wrong but let's start by looking at your recent past a little bit more Recent past for Cancer. Interesting. Three of Swords in reverse with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this is the same opportunity, but you have it in your upright in your immediate future. It's in reverse here. Then you have this Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, I want to know, what is this Three of Swords in reverse talking about here? usually means forgiveness to me but let's see what this is saying what is this three of swords saying yeah there's a cycle that needs to complete first 
oof, a painful one. Like something painful happened. And now it's like you need to fully heal from this before you can take the action. So that's why it's like you're being guided toward it. But the more you're being guided toward it, the more you're having to face, I feel like, a lot of fear and stuff. Okay, but what could this possibly have to do? I don't know why. Sometimes I just feel cold. I've been feeling it more recently to see if I'm missing a certain word. I want to look at this three of swords in reverse. Forgiveness, recovery, clarity, or introspection. It feels like recovery. It's like you've got to fully recover from this first. Because I feel like whatever happened here is blocking you from fully taking action. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Interesting. So if you feel stuck, it's for a reason. Because, yeah, you're needing to fully recover from, like, whatever this painful situation was. Recent past for cancer. Recovery. Because there's the leap. There's the Knight of Wands. But it's almost like... Hang on, I want more on this Knight of Wands first. More on this Knight of Wands first. Interesting. So I feel, Cancer, like you may have... Mm, okay. Potentially sabotaged something in the past. Um, not necessarily on purpose, but a little bit of self-sabotage has happened in the past. And it caused, I feel like, some pretty painful stuff. And now I feel like it's about, when I talk about self-sabotage, it could be like investing in people that you knew weren't good for you ended up hurting you. Like investing in like not taking the leaps toward what it is that you wanted at the time or whatever the case is. But I feel like the biggest thing for you to know is that you haven't missed out on anything. Um, because, but right now your focus is so much on what could go wrong because you've experienced things going wrong. And it's almost like this need to like fully forgive yourself for the way that things played out so that you can trust yourself to take whatever this action is. Because I feel like you don't fully trust yourself here. Let's see, current energy for cancer Clarifying affluence with the Ace of Wands. It's like, the other way I'm reading this is like following your passions is going to lead you to the financial freedom you're wanting. Current energy for Cancer. Current energy for Cancer. Yes, you are feeling stuck right now. Things aren't moving forward. But it's because you're working through a lot of limiting beliefs. So you have the, the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Five of Wands in reverse. Because there's a part of you that's conflicted about whatever the path this is that you want to take. Even though your intuition is guiding you toward it. Even though you're being guided toward it. It's like you still feel conflicted about it. And I feel like that's because something from your past. Usually the way that my past, present, and future readings work is like, okay, what happened? How is that affecting your current situation and how to handle it moving forward? So something in your past, I mean painful from your past, really now affects the way that you trust yourself. Maybe trust your intuition a little bit. Like you're having trouble fully trusting your intuition. Because, yeah, you're needing to work through like some internal conflict about like what isn't but I don't know what this internal conflict is. Let's get more on that. What is this internal conflict that Cancer is dealing with? What is this internal conflict that Cancer is dealing with? This internal conflict that Cancer is dealing with. Self-doubt. Second guess. Literally. Look at this. So you have the same page of pentacles. As right there, and this is second guessing yourself. 
it's like you're second guessing this opportunity that you you're holding it so you know what it is i feel it you know what it is but you're needing to work through second guessing yourself Because you have this need to take action, but it's like you're, and you want to, you really want to take action toward this, but I also feel like there's so many things holding you back. And your focus is on all of the things holding you back instead of like all of the ways that this could go right. And the more you focus on that stuff, the more that you're going to see that stuff. Especially if you're like thinking about all of the ways things could go wrong. What else is Cancer currently dealing with in their energy? What does Cancer need to know in their current energy? Especially maybe in regard to their past. What about Cancer's past is affecting their current energy? So the Page of Pentacles in reverse again. The Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Page of Pentacles in reverse. And the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. I want clarity really quick on this Nine of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. Oh, no, I see. You, see, you already want to be picking the fruits of your labor. You already want to be, like, receiving your rewards. But there's, like, it's like there's a lot that's going to have to happen before you get there. Like, obstacle-wise. And you know that, like, you know the path to get there is going to be, like, it's going to take time, it's going to take energy, and you're, you're, you know that, but it just feels like you're so focused on the, like, you're here, you want to be here, but you're so focused on the gap in between where you are and where you want to be, that you're, the more you focus on the gap, the more that you experience the gap, or that you, those obstacles become so overwhelming that it's hard for you to fully, like, break out of. But I do, I do still want to get clarity on this Nine of Pentacles. I want this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, hang on. The Two of Cups in reverse with the King of Wands. You could have had like a separation from a fire sign. Didn't have to. Don't have to. What is more on this? More on this, please. Clarifying this, please. It's almost like, oh. So whatever happened here, it's like you're still dealing with like so many triggers from it, like like that you're having a hard time making a decision. So it was, whatever situation was painful is literally affecting your ability to make a decisions towards your path. Because, I mean, there's, I feel like there's a lot of doubt now because of whatever it was that you experienced. Even if it was like you have experienced something going wrong in a relationship, but now you're scared of pursuing a path financially. Like, it just feels like whatever it was, you've lost a lot of your self-esteem in it, that you're having a hard time seeing, like, that's why you're second-guessing yourself. Because you invested in something that fell apart. And now you're afraid to do that again. See, immediate future for cancer. Immediate future for cancer. Clarifying lucky with the page of pentacles. Immediate future for cancer. Clarifying lucky with the page of pentacles. There you go. Stepping into a new beginning here. It's like you're avoiding this new beginning. But why? Why is Cancer avoiding this new beginning? Is it just because it's going to be like clarifying this new beginning for Cancer? Oh, 
lot of fire energy. So it's almost like it, the reason you're avoiding this new beginning is because you're afraid to take action. Because of limiting beliefs, you're afraid to take action. There's a lot of fire energy in this. I want to clarify this message. Whatever it is that you're wanting, whatever this opportunity is, it aligns with you. It aligns with you. It's just not, it's just like, it, it's, it's, it's hard for you to see that. Immediate future here for cancer. Immediate future for cancer. Because of this karmic cycle of whatever this situation was. It's hard for you to see like your own worth here and what you're deserving of. Interesting. Okay, we are gonna hop on over to the extended here. We'll hop on over to the extended. We're gonna clarify these messages, but really it'll be diving into a lot of advice around this. Um, and then I have an actual advice card to pull for you guys at the end. So thank you so much, Cancer, for the um, you know support of my channel. I say it every week, but it doesn't mean that I don't mean it. It does mean the absolute world to me. I hope that this reading helped and resonated in a way that you were needing today. And I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Cancer.